All right, thanks, Amanda. With the new year, a lot of people made resolutions to relocate or buy their first home. Joining us live over Zoom is realtor Nick Armistead. It's a tough housing market last year, Nick. Yeah, definitely. Um, it was definitely interesting last year. Uh, uh, with the rise in interest rates, you know, it really halted a lot of buyers. Um, it really uh, made buyers come to a complete standstill. But the good thing is, you know, going into this year, we're expecting rates to actually decrease. So do you think things are improving this year for the housing market? Yeah, for sure. Um, just because with, with the rate decreases, you know, a lot of buyers are going to have a lot more uh, affordability. And um, it's going to also, we've also actually seen some people actually actually start to refinance, actually some people that bought last year. What do you think new home construction will look like this year? I think it's going to pay, uh, play a very pivotal role in our inventory because supply and inventory is still at an all-time low. Um, historically, uh, new construction homes are typically only 10 to 15 percent of our inventory, but in some markets we're seeing even 30 percent, even 30 percent, and even 50 percent in some markets where new construction is going to be most of our inventory. Our, you mentioned interest rates are dropping some. What would your message be to folks who are considering buying a home who may have been a little hesitant because of the higher interest rates? Um, we know they're going to continue to creep down this year. Uh, the one thing I would tell them is uh, go ahead and consult with the mortgage lender right now because right now we're in a very interesting period. Uh, we're getting away from the holidays, getting ready to gear up for the spring and the summer, which is the busiest time of the real estate industry. So right now, if you go ahead and talk to a mortgage lender and kind of see where your budget is um, and as continue as rates continue to decrease throughout the year, even if you're not comfortable with your payment right now, if you already have that conversation with your mortgage lender, when rates get to the point to where you're comfortable, you're a phone call away. What about people who are considering selling their home right now? Is this a good time to sell your house? Uh, yes, because right now, like I said, inventory is at an all-time low. Um, uh, if if you're looking and thinking about selling, you know there's still demand. There's still a lot of demand. Um, even last year, even last year, um, even though the transactions were lower year over year from 2022, uh, we still had a lot of transactions due to a lot of cash buyers. So even if um, some people are still hesitant to actually buy this financing. There's still cash buyers out there because e even in some markets, we had cash buyers that uh, equivalent to 40% of the transactions in some of those markets. For people who recently bought a home, is it a good time to refinance? When should they look at that option? Well, I would say that's definitely a question to uh, consult with your mortgage lender, just because it just all depends on what your rate, what your rate is when you bought it. Um, Rates started to decrease at the end of December um, of last year, and we've actually seen um, some people actually start to refinance that bought earlier that year, um, specifically people that have bought FHA loans. Um, um, middle of last year, they were hovering around seven and a half, possibly even 8%. Um, there are some mortgage lenders right now that uh, have quoted some FHA loans probably below sixes or even below six. So that could be a difference of a couple hundred, uh, a couple hundred dollars that you could save a month. New Year's resolution time is right now, and a lot of people make goals to buy homes this year. What steps should they take now to make that a reality before the end of the year? I would say the first step is, as always, I say talk to a mortgage lender and talk to your real estate agent first, because the the beautiful thing about our industry is the more the more you the more you plan and the more proactive you are, the the better strategy you can put in place and put yourself in position to get a good deal. So. Uh, with, with the increase of buyer demand that's expected to come into the market because of the interest rates decreasing, I think you put yourself in a good position the earlier you actually prepare. And another thing, talking about new construction, you know, like I said, we're in that buffer period to where right now a lot of builders are still offering incentives. So if you could go ahead and possibly talk to your loan officers, put some strategies in place, talk to real estate agents, put some strategies in place to see. Um, if that's a good option for you, because if the demand continue to increase as we expect it to do, um, those incentives could go away come spring or summer. Nick, thank you so much for joining us here on Alabama Live and offering your advice. We appreciate it. All right, thank you. Have a great day.